Hey folks, Quillateen here, and welcome back to XCOM 2. We are back from our crash from the last episode, although honestly, time-wise, it was a fine place to put in a cut. I don't know if everyone else is having these issues, or if it's me because of the review copy, which is slightly different from the uh, actual retail copy, or if it's because I'm recording, or if it's something on my computer, I have no idea. They're getting a little bit annoying, I'm not going to lie, but uh, let's go ahead. We I don't remember who I moved where or whatever, it's actually about... Uh, I know, 45 minutes after the last episode, so um, I rebooted, I double-checked that all my drivers were all up to date and everything like that, so I don't know, I mostly positioned a bunch of people outside these doors, so I'm going to do the same thing again. Do, 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 do. Uh, I would like to get a heavy over there, like say you. Oh, I think this way I'm actually not going to have as many overwatches, I'm being a little bit more lazy. Um... But oh well. Running. Let's get you there. I think none of these people are going to be overwatching. Uh, although, it, I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, last time I played it carefully because I thought, oh, maybe someone will come out. Now, knowing no one comes out, it doesn't really matter as much what order I'm going to put things in. I am going to go ahead and sneak up over here with uh, one, of my, um, one of my rangers so that we can pop open this door next turn and oh, maybe wow. get some vision and see what happens. And then this ranger... I mostly want you to be close, because I might get you to scout through. I think this will be close to both doors, and then we'll have some options as to how we want to move through them. Okay. There's something out there. All right, yes, well, clearly, something activated the distress beacon. So, yes, there is something within the, uh, the alien ship. All right, this is my support. Let's pop you open. Uh, do I want to be overwatching first? That's a tough question. Because if there's something literally on the other side, it's going to spot me and activate and run to cover. It'd be a great spot for overwatches. The problem is, I'm not guaranteed that there's going to be someone literally right here. Most likely, I'm going to want to take a move. So I won't overwatch first. In the worst case scenario... No, we can actually, what, shoot the door? Oh no, that's just the open door icon. Alright. Ah, we didn't see anything. Okay. And opening doors does not take an action, despite what it feels like it maybe should. I think I'm going to move... Ooh, that is not... Can I not move into cover? Tell you what then, hold on. Pop open this door. Now, there's a window here. But currently... Oh, and there, there we go, there's someone. One sectoid so far. Looks like if I move here, it's fine. I could... Ooh, that's risky. As I say, we could run in and try to sword him, but not really. We wouldn't be in cover or anything good. I can't necessarily get a good firing solution with these characters. If I moved here... Now, it looks like there's nothing in here. And it doesn't look like... I, it's weird. We're not getting a preview of his vision radius. Is there any chance this goes into his vision radius? I mean, it doesn't look like he has line of sight, but... I'm, I'm worried that this is going to set off alarms. Or did you... No, you're still concealed. That's really weird. Why are we not getting the little concealed preview of things? Come on, game. Meet me halfway here. Hmm. All right. Ultimate Thought, what I'm going to do with you... Because you're going to be moving to full cover. You're going to be pretty safe regardless. We're going to get you to move in here. It'll give us vision over here. Although, it means you can't attack this turn. But you really have no way to attack this turn anyway. Unless we, right, you know, I'll grenade go. around a corner or something. So let's do this. I wouldn't mind getting a closer look at their flight computer. Ours could probably use some updates. Hmm. Yeah, that would be really nice. Uh, I'll probably just overwatch you. I see no reason. Well, let's wait just in case we trigger something else. Um. Because there is more stuff over here. We gotta neutralize all the UFOs. Disable the beacon. Let's pop open this door. I can get this angle, which I guess is a fine I hope thing. It's worth it. Yeah, let's go ahead and overwatch. And overwatch. Because conceivably, something might move. You're concealed, so I'm feeling very good about moving you here. At this point. Doesn't look like this should trigger anything. Puts us in good position to attack next turn. Spotted enemy, but... It, how did that work? I don't understand! You didn't show me! I don't know. Whatever. That's what Overwatch is for. Although that's less good. Missed. 
you know what I just realized? I don't actually have a save from the beginning of this episode. And all I have is auto saves. And if something goes wrong with this recording... Hang on, let me do this. If something goes wrong with this recording... Oh, that could be really bad, because I might not be able to save or load from the appropriate place. <sighs> Hopefully nothing happens. Oh, that's interesting. We've got a flank here. But also, I'm kind of liking this right here. Puts me in cover. Ideally gets a kill. Uh, well, hold on. We can't get a flank on this guy, but we can get a couple of attacks on him. Which would be nice. What about my sniper? That's not bad. Also, my sniper... If I moved here, this would be a good time to use the pistol everything. You might be getting flanked over there, which wouldn't be good. You've got no more moves. Where can I put this sniper? I guess I can go here. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to lightning hands this one, and then take a snipe at him. So if we take him out of the picture... Whoa! Actually, a crit. Very nice. If we take him out of the picture, I'm going to feel a lot better about things. He's burning, too. Even if this missed, well, the burn won't kill him. Nice crit. Wow, we actually would have one-shot him. Not that it makes much of a difference to what would have happened. It still ends our turn. Okay. Alright, I'm feeling very good, then about coming over and sorting him. It might not one-shot him. Yeah, 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 you spot me. Ooh. Surprise! Oh, we actually critted him! Nice! One-shot kill. Alright, now I'm feeling really good. We're down to a single sectoid. It might literally be the last alien on the map as well. I hope this doesn't crash on me again. I'm really worried about the fact that I forgot to put in a save before starting to record this episode. Because I think it only keeps, like, three autosaves. If we have to roll back... Especially since this is going really well. I'm going to be really pissed. All right. Um, if I go here... Really? I don't get vision? Not through that window? I'd get it here, but I can't actually shoot. I don't think there's any way for me to shoot. So the question is, then... Do I just want to do aid protocol? And I think the answer is yes. Where do I want to stick myself before I do aid protocol? I guess I'm going to stick myself here in case someone comes around that corner. We'll have some a good angle. No hay problema, jefe. But, yeah, you've only got half cover, so it seems like a good idea. Aid protocol. Right there. Now, this is just plus 20 defense. It's not an increase to willpower. That being said, I really don't care if the alien uses a psychic ability, because mind control or panic is not going to have any impact. I just don't want you to take damage and therefore end up being wounded. Oh! Wait. Why did you take a shot? What do you have that allows you to do that? Oh! It's the aid protocol Overwatch thingy! So now we know how it works. Okay, you get mind control, but again, I don't really care because I should be able to kill this thing this turn. Unless a bunch more aliens come up, then it'd be a problem. But now we know how that works. I wasn't sure, like, about the angle, but so now aid protocol also gives them overwatch. Brilliant. Love it. All right, I think we're going to start off with a little slice and dice. There's a possibility. No, 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 there's nothing in here. If there's anything else that's not going to be in this room, this should be a perfectly safe thing to do. I think we still need a good roll to one-shot this guy. But we got it. Eight damage. No crit required. And then we've got the rest of the team who can still move. One. Depending on when things happen. Mind control lost. Okay, we have not eliminated all the aliens. There are still aliens around. Now, how are we going to deal with this beacon? Oh, we have to stand in front of it and do something. All right, that's fine. So someone's going to have to double move to get there regardless. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how to cover that person. Now, the doorway here is okay. There you go. Ultimate Thal, you're going to what, pop through the window? Yeah, that's going to be fine. You're going to go there, there. Then you're going to go on Overwatch. And that will enable you to cover that doorway and make me feel a lot better about things. 
Uh, Virago, who is my other heavy, I think we'll do the same thing. I think I'm going to put you here and then put you on Overwatch. Is it clear? It's a good thing I've got enough turns. I didn't realize. I thought we'd just be able to destroy it. I didn't realize if we have to turn it off. I guess we got to send the. Uh, just a weapons malfunction. Everything's fine here. How are you? Kind of message. Moving to Overwatch. Overwatch. Uh, Kruyan. I'm assuming when we open the door on the other side, we might detect someone. But I don't know. They could still be outside. They could be behind the UFO. The power supply on this ship is likely to be a newer variation of the core driving the More power. systems. Oh. All right, Harastru, your job is to go and stand here. I'm hoping it's not going to gonna result in a misclick. I'm still paranoid about that one time. Especially with some of these tricky angles. Yeah, you're going to stand there. And you're... You could aid protocol again. Here, huh? If we overwatch over... Oh, wait. No, you can hack from a distance. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Let's try to do that this turn. It doesn't really help us. Well, it'll save an action on our ranger next turn. I guess that's something. 100% chance to disable. Recover a lead. Research time and current tech reduced by 50%. I don't know. Now, our current tech research is just a an autopsy, which isn't going to take any time anyway. So we're going to go for the alien uh, facility lead. Although, I bet you it's just going to give us a lead on a facility we already have. And it failed anyway, so it's a moot point. Okay. But we deactivated the beacon, which is the important part. Estoy dentro. We've knocked out the alien distress signal. Looks like the skies are quiet. Here's that was. There we go. That, to me, it's not clear, the sound waves. Maybe it just shows vague direction, but it looks to me like that would originate from outside the ship. Still, I think the first move I'm going to do... Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, I'm second-guessing it. Okay, it looks like there's nothing there. Is there a back door? There are back doors. And here as well. Alright, most likely, I just want you to overwatch. Sure. Um... Do another safe step over here. Although it looks like there's nothing inside the ship. Pop open the door. And one more overwatch. But I think we're okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run everyone to this back door here. So whoever is left is outside. We might take a moment to reload since we don't have a timer going on anymore. Although I'm willing to bet that with at least two bullets per person here, we're going to be okay. And you're still full. We could move you towards the other door, but splitting up is usually a bad thing. No need to ask twice. I'm all over. Just stack it. up near that door. We got a couple people overwatching. I don't think it's required. So yeah. Whoa! Whoa! What was I just saying? What the hell's going on over there? I can't actually see around the corner. Oh, there they are! Okay, it looks like three more sectoids, and looks like they were on patrol, but they spotted me on their turn. Oh, and a codex! Oh, shit. Alright, well, luckily... Uh, luckily they can't do... Do you really not have line of sight on the codex from here? That seems kind of bullshitty, but I guess we'll take it. So the codex... Oh man, who do we prioritize? Two fucking sectoids or the codex? Plus, there's one sectoid that's already injured. Um, the codex, we know, multiplies when it gets hit. Is apparently a thing. So what I'm going to start with is Molly over here. Um, yeah. And we're going to do a melee attack on the codex. Because we're trying to hit as hard as possible. That's not quite as good as I'd like. So why is it only six bars? We can clearly do more than that. I guess either way it showed me six bars, okay? In any case, we're gonna use you to make the move. Show me the charge, there we are. Um, I could do the, um, the run and gun too, but I'm not sure that there's an advantage of that. So we're gonna try to hit this codex as hard as possible, which will cause it to clone, but I'm hoping that we can just kill all of it right away. Depends on where it teleports off to. That's a little inconvenient. Oh, we did hit it for more. 
Oh, maybe when it clones, does it split up its hit points? I'm not sure. Can I go here and try to kill that? Oh, maybe I should have just used a grenade. 54% is really far from good. Your grenades are pretty effective at guaranteeing that things die. We have a lot of things to shoot. You know what? You're not going to be doing anything else. I suppose you could overwatch. Uh, you could take a shot at that sectoid. Now, let's take your 54% against this codex. If it hits... Oh, no! It dodged! We hit, but it did a dodge, so it's not dead. And is it going to clone again? Now, do we have two at one hit point, or... Okay, that's what confused me last time. I think when it clones, it may split its hit points up, and because it was down to one, it can't actually clone, so it was more of an emergency teleport. But I think that actually puts us in a really good position. Uh, that's not what I want. No, cancel. I want to select one of my heavies. I think it puts us in a really good position to drop a grenade and kill both of these, if I could find a good spot to end up. And this looks like a good spot to end up. I mean, we still have to take care of this other guy. We'll get there. Or maybe you can only have two. Maybe that's the problem. There might be a limit. Okay. Am I going to blow up a bunch of shit that I want to keep around? You know what? Survival and keeping our people healthy is our number one priority. I was just trying to see if I can avoid smashing one extra thing. Oh, that's the spot right here. Technically avoids one more console. I'm going to do that. Yeah, watch, it turns out you can only have two copies of the Codex, and I should be killing them in a slightly different order. Did I not hit the Codex? Did I get confused because it's already orange and it looks like it was being highlighted? Well, now I'm just pissed. It'd be nice if we had the lightning hands, because this would be a perfect opportunity for a pistol shot. Yeah, pistol's more accurate anyway. Um, even better if I move a little closer, although I'm not sure where I would want to be for that. Really? If I go here, I can still get a shot? That seems unlikely. In particular, I want to be able to get a shot on the codex, because I don't want it to teleport behind me. How are you flanked? Oh, you literally... Yeah, you don't have cover. Yeah, fair enough. Um, you know what, then? Even though it's a waste of high damage. I need to make sure to eliminate the codex. What's nice about this is it should decrease the, um, the avatar project. Okay, we can go here, which will move us into good cover, and should give us a full flank over this character, which is apparently still there, but... Yeah, let me do What's this. This should there? give us a really good pistol shot. Maybe even 100%. We've seen some pretty sick numbers without even being that close. And... Face off. Still 100% guaranteed to hit. Excellent. Hit everyone. I think face off really is the same as taking a pistol shot at everyone, um, just on a cooldown. With no hit penalty. So that does leave one fully healthy sectoid, but a sectoid, well, can cause some problems, but not too many. What's my hit chance over here? That is pretty low, but almost certainly it's going to move. Oh, suppression does use an extra bullet. That's true. I might just want to overwatch. There's a chance that it doesn't decide to move. Um, if it decides to do a mind control, that doesn't bother me. If it decides to stand still and shoot and injure someone, I'll be pretty pissed. So that's suppression which will give it minus 50 to aim. That Takes an extra bullet, but it's an overwatch with uh, icing on top. Yeah, you did decide to move, which is what I expected. I'm hoping you still have the minus 50 to aim here. I doubt it. You still have a little targeting thing on you. Okay, you're gonna use psychic powers, which is fine. Get me out of here, please. Yeah, a panic state I don't think has any lasting effect. Maybe it leads to a shaken state? I don't expect so. We should finish this mission. Assuming this is the last dude. Oh, you're going to take the extra shot? I love it when the panic characters shoot anyway. But in this time, it didn't pay off. Um, I think we're going to end this mission 
Presumably this is the last match without anyone injured, so that should be a pretty huge success. I'll be a little disappointed if my one grenade um, caused some issues here, but overall I'm okay. Why don't we... You already earned a promotion. Do we want to feed XP to anyone? I, I don't know. I mean, in here you can't see how close they are to a promotion. So... I don't know how much it makes a difference. Uh, I can't end in cover, although can I attack from here? No. Let's go here. I like my specialists. They have cool abilities. So this could hit and not kill. I don't think you get experience for, like, just hitting and shooting. Done. All right. Let's hope our one grenade didn't cause too much damage. Flawless victory. Killed everyone. Could have maybe been done faster, but honestly, I don't know, I'm pretty pleased. Wow, 5.06 damage per attack. Only 66% successful shot percentage, which is not super high. Because most of the shots we take are at a higher chance than that. We did take, uh, there was one at like 59% that I think we took and missed, or maybe 56%. Our specialist against the Codex. I remember that missing. And maybe earlier as well, I'm not sure. And again, we don't think the Overwatches count to that. I don't think any of the special abilities do. I think it's only the normal attacks. Maybe wrong. It just it's very confusing so far. It's, it hasn't been particularly clear. Ultimate Thull getting a lot of damage or a lot of work done there. Most damage dealt, most under fire, moved furthest. But did not make the most attack. It's Pawnbroker, a specialist who did. And I think also was one of the less accurate person and brought our successful percentage down. But I'm not going to hold it against Pawnbroker there. Plus, Pawnbroker did get the kill on that last sectoid. Good on you. And yeah, I really like the specialist abilities. I mean, I guess I like all their abilities. So what are we going to get out of this downed UFO? I don't remember what the reward for the mission was. It was too long ago. I wondered how the new gear would hold up, Commander. Looks to me like it's working out just fine. We secured the disabled UFO. I mean, presumably we don't get the UFO. We just strip out some, a few parts and get out of there before anyone comes looking. Even distress signal or no distress signal. Three promotions? Can't complain too much about that. All right, what you got? Implacable. See, this is this new rank. I haven't seen this before. If you score one or more kills on your turn, you are granted a single bonus move. That's really good, especially since the swords do tend to get people killed. Again, I can see the scout tree being really amazing. You know, sneak up to someone, hit them from the shadows, getting an increased chance to hit and crit, which I assume this aim and, and crit um, works for melee weapons. Well, I guess we won't be concealed anymore. This is true. Usually when you run up to someone to melee, it breaks concealment at that point. So it won't... I was hoping to get a 100% hit chance on a sword, but I guess it's not to be. Still, conceal, shotgun someone, and then you get a bonus move, and you can use that to use your conceal action to immediately re-enter, which would be nice. Then we got Bladestorm. Free sword attack on any enemy that enter or attack from melee range. I mean, that's a nice defense against all the, um, the shock troopers, but I think Implacable is going to be a hell of a lot better. Because you could shoot, kill someone, shoot again. Or sword someone for a kill, and then still take a shot, or move into cover. That's got to be so much better. Now, it says bonus move. It doesn't say bonus action. I assume it's a full action. Even if it's just a bonus move, that's fine, right? Because sword and then run to cover or even shoot and then move to full cover or something is still really strong. But I'm assuming it's a full action. I don't know. Maybe you can't shoot twice. We'll find out. But I'm going to take it. Um, my other ranger also gets a promotion. It would be nice to know exactly what this does. But again, I'm going to take the same logic. I don't know. It is nice to get the free attacks on anyone who tries to run up and melee us. But I'm going to guess that Implacable is just going to come up way more often. And our Sharpshooter. Again, I think this is going to be a brand new rank. What do we got? Steady Hands. If you did not move last turn, gain plus 10 aim and plus 10 critical chance. Okay, that's really good, but that's not... So, if we move into position, and then on the next turn, we start a new turn, we've got all our full action, so we're ready to snipe, Steady Hands would not have triggered. we got to stay in the same place basically twice. Or... Hunker Down confirms plus 20 aim to the first shot. I don't think we tend to do the Hunker Down. In a way, they kind of both do the same thing. Because your last turn... Well, I guess on your last turn, you could do a single move into Hunker Down. 
and then you get plus 20 in. As opposed to here, last turn would have had to be a turn where you just stood still and sniped. It's just if you're sniping basically two turns in a row, then steady hands becomes really good. Um, the problem is, I don't know how often we'll do single move into hunker down. I think often with the sniper is because my mentality is you can't snipe unless you have two actions. So a lot of times I'm going to double move with the sniper. Or if I'm going to single move, a lot of times it's like single move into pistol. I'm going to have to remember to use this. Shit, I don't know. I mean, ultimately, both options are basically plus 20 to things, right? One, you're slightly le more likely to do a normal hit. The other one, you can crit, but you don't have to worry about... Hey, you know what? I'm going to grab aim, and I'm going to try to make that a consistent uh, choice on most of my characters. Especially with lightning hands, you could move lightning hands and then decide to hunker down uh, for an aim bonus in the next turn. Let's take aim. Hopefully, we'll remember to use it. We got another Codex Brain. Brilliant. Oh yeah, the advanced autoloader and advanced stock is really happy making. We got a shit ton of supplies. Plus the Illyrium Core, the Illyrium Crystal. Okay, on yeah, nice. More alloys, lots of corpses. Okay, that armored trooper counts as a normal trooper corpse. That may mean advanced shield bearer autopsy. Oh, okay. Oh no, we did kill a normal dude too. Let's pull the suit apart. I'm sure the engineering team will find some means of integrating these improvements to our armor design and the advent mech breakdown. Mechanized units, familiar human form. Haven't we killed the mech already? Maybe we didn't recover a mech body before. But what I'm excited Just about is I think we can finally build... There we go, the Predator armor suit with the corpses. We got the supply. It's going to take most of our supply, but I'm okay with it. Boom. The aptly named Predator armor. I think it's upgrading everyone. Sucks that it took us this long to do it, although... Ah, you know what? That may, depending on exactly what it does with our stats, may have caused our other sharpshooter to survive that one combat, where the codex teleported behind them and got, like, a, you know, coverless crit on them. Depending on exactly what that does, uh, can we find out? At one point, I thought about trying to bring in an advent mech to see if we could integrate the gremlin AI. That'd be cool. The idea being to bolster our staff with robotic assistance. I eventually decided not to bring it up to Central or Tigan, at least not until things settle down some. All right, so it's just plus four health. Medium class armor provides a slot for one additional um, inventory item. So it doesn't give us armor, just plus four health. Yeah, and everyone's now got plus four health. That would have uh, almost certainly saved us if I hadn't, I sold to the black market, uh, the, the bodies, the corpses. On the other hand, we may not have had the supply. I don't remember, but I should have made this more of a priority and kept it in mind, because holy crap, it's potent. Also, the extra utility item slot, fucking fantastic. Huge upgrade. It's amazing that we've survived as is um, this far. Only one loss. But yeah, that would have saved it. We would have, like, maybe we could complete the game without a single death. That would have been really brilliant. Power's starting to be consumed pretty aggressively here, because we are building some extra stuff, but that's fine. I guess we're going to put a cut in here. That was a really successful mission. I was kind of surprised, but um, it wasn't really that hard. The one group outside, a couple inside. Hand it to the, aliens. That, the fact that that sectoid plus codex country. group spotted me They're on their turn was huge. Drop on us for sure. Because it meant that basically Advent, they moved and then without shooting, and then I had a whole turn to start responding. Because we know the codexes can the F things up. Alright, we're going to unwrap this up. Thank you very much for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.